did your did your experience working on Blade influence your take on 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 vampires for Philadelphia? No, um, my it, it's funny because um, I have loved vampires for the better part of my life. When I was a kid, kid uh, dating myself again, the company Aurora used to make these models that you could glue together, like Frankenstein, Wolfman, Dracula. I had all of those. I would read the magazines. I would watch the um, Saturday Night Creature Features and um, that had the mm-hmm. Universal Monsters and the old Bela Lugosi stuff. And I read the book, the original Dracula, Bram Stoker's, and then um, Salem's Lot and that stuff. And then Cole Shack, the Night Stalker came on. And um, that affected me. It was written by Richard Matheson. It was a movie of the week, but uh, Cole Shack, who was, uh, investigative reporter was on the trail of a vampire <clears throat> and that sort of just captured my imagination for some reason and never let go and then my mother took me to a double feature of blackula and scream blackula scream at mm-hmm. our little movie theater in the area yes that sir was, um, i had never place. seen us and it was always in the back of my mind as a black kid why i never saw us you know in the hammer films or any of the stuff that i love yeah. And I got all the black people I could ask for and Blackula the Scream, Blackula the Scream. And it was one of those experiences where I, even as a kid, there were some problematic areas like, you know, why does his lapels get bigger when he becomes a vampire? Why does his belt buckle <laughs> when he becomes a vampire? I don't understand that part. I can go with uh, the sideburns getting bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, he got black. Yeah, it was almost yeah, like yeah. not only was the vampire part, the feral part come out, but he actually became more black uh-huh. and along with being more of a vampire. And so I always said to myself, um, You know, if I ever get to a place where I can tell my version of a vampire story that has us, you know, the culture as the centerpiece, I would try to dignify us a little bit more in how the storytelling is told. And on both sides, on both ends, I believe some of that comes across in Philadelphia. But another part is I've actually gotten the rights to Blackula and I'm doing. Really? Yeah, I'm doing a Blackula reboot. Oh, 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 I was just about to ask you that. Yeah. What? Really? So that's is my that next common step. knowledge? Oh uh, my god! It's knowledge. I don't know how common. There hasn't been a big press release yet because we're working on the yeah. releases. But the paperwork is signed. I've paid for rights. I've done some things, and so um, I'm going to be doing Blackula. And Scott Hampton, oh, who did yes. the Batman Night Cries, the uh, he's a painter, and he's painting the book. So um, we actually talked this morning and uh, I'm finishing the first script as we speak. Um, it's a tough one because um, there's the parts of it from the past that go with the Blackula yeah. idea of then, but then it's now. And what I wanna do, what my goal is, is to bring the level of sophistication to Blackula that you have with Dracula. Yeah, um, right. And sort of, uh, take out those parts that sort of went with black exploitation, you know, because right, right. I think it's common knowledge that a lot of folks that did black exploitation didn't look like us. And the actors did the best they could with what they had. And yes. for me to have more of a creative say in how the story is told, it's an honor to be able to go back to, you know, that period. I mean, comic books for me are, there's a purity and the idealism that I had as a kid that you sort of lose when you get into the business because you realize how the business works. You know, right. when you write a script, the producers, there's a network, there's a studio, there's so many other hands that get in it that can influence how a story is told and what people finally get when they see a movie or a TV show or read a book. And for me, being able to do it um, in my way, same way with Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. Um, under my banner, my company, my publishing house um, is an honor. So yeah, there dope. you go. 